Jesus Christ. What the bloody hell is that creature? I may not be able to see it, but I can certainly hear it. It is the legendary Black Beast of our herd. Oh bugger, what do you suggest we do? Run away. Run away. I I That's it. I Isn't this the part where the animator is supposed to suffer from a fatal heart attack? What does that mean? Every time the beast appears, just as before disaster strikes, it is supposed to be no more. Well, it already ate the Lion Guard. Bloody Nora, this means the animator will not die of a heart attack. Well, please do something about this, otherwise we are doomed. Balkany, may you fight the beast? I will try. Here has the carving so it does not get destroyed. Oh sod how heavy. You totally threw why is it always me? Today this beast will be gone for good. <laughs> Sod the cave fell down. Do you think they are alright? I think the beast is trapped. You non fool. Now let's leave the cave. How long is the journey? About as long as the journey from the last clue to here, plus the journey we took to the last clue. Oh, Sod. Is there nothing we can use to go faster? I think the Green River may flow north into the Performer River which is navigable until the Earldom of Performer where we can't take Performer way back to the Empire. We could probably use rivers for the majority of the journey, and it should be superior to walking. We did bring a boat. and I will tell you again. Stop making so much noise. Oh man, what are you doing? 
If you do not stop, I will exile you all to my Excel for being a fool. No, don't touch that! What the utter fueling fish is going on here? It is Mac Guy 3135. Oh blast. Attack the fool. Oh no. Some PC guys. What do we do now? Attack. We have obtained the carving. However, we do not know what it says. Can any of you decode the writing? We are almost certain that it is written in reverse and in some known language, however we cannot tell which or translate it. Placeholder line. Placeholder line. Well, uh, technically, uh... Nah. I have precisely no bloody clue what the actual hell the thing says either. We neither think this. Just looks like some talk to me. I am afraid I am not much help either. You got any leads, Jim? I additionally do not know what exactly it reads. However, I know German, and it seems to be rather similar to both German and English. Probably some sort of Germanic language then. A decent lead. Shall we continue further and see what happens? I agree. Balkany, may you assist by jumping over the fence? I agree. Do we need any of these supplies anymore? I believe we should be relatively quick from now on, and we'll be entering via the Mac Guys forest where other Mac Guys will be willing to offer their supplies. However these are substandard and may poison the humans. It may also take a while for our preferred outcome to be met. Therefore we should keep the tat until it is either exhausted or we are sure a conclusion to this quest is near. are you and why are you in the Mac Guy forest? I am Robert Simonson and I wish no harm on you. That does not answer why you are here. I had no choice, I was imprisoned here by the giant Lechus, Lego figure like aliens that appear to reside here. Were you by any chance taken from a field mysteriously? I was indeed taken from a field, I was imprisoned here for a while but then one day a massive gust of wind simply blew away the castle I was imprisoned in and killed or scattered a lot of my fellow prisoners. That was the destruction of the PC Guy Empire. Unfortunately, it returned. I agree. Some of the few surviving prisoners met up and formed a group led by a Winston Wallace. We fled the immediate area, but quickly after, myself and some Australian crew called the Dip Man decided that it would be best to go alone and snuck away from the group. I am sure they were glad to dispose of the Dip Man as soon after we were arguing about where the screws or birds were better and split up. I have been stuck here ever since and wasn't for the generosity of other aliens I can put. Oh, Smack guys look just like you were slightly small, I would have perished alone. The Dipman is indeed a fool. May you please stand aside as we have to stop two empires from potentially joining forces. Wait, we have a carving none of us can interpret. May you just have a quick look at it to be certain? It is most likely written with the text reversed and in some Germanic language. I am from Denmark and know both Danish and English, so that may be useful at least. Worth a shot. Let's find the note with the text on the carving but reversed. This text is indeed in Danish, albeit with some letters not found in the English language changed to similar letters that are in the English alphabet. Epic. Can you translate it for us? Put that in Google Translate. Google Translate? Can that detect languages? Yes. Oh, of course. 
We are very silly. Linux guys are not your friends, they are open source, we are not. We cannot collaborate with them due to our proprietary ways, must blow them up. How excellent! That does indeed sound as though it was carved to discourage the PC guys from the Linux guys. As I knew, we must deliver the carving to the PC guys immediately. What do I do then? Come with us to the castle and explain the carving. You can translate it for them if they cannot interpret the thing. Or don't believe translation software. What do I, my sister, your mother and father and these three useless celebrities do? Come with us too and cause as much chaos as possible. You're very good at that. It's why I bothered even taking you this far. Your chaos will cause the PC guys to pay attention to us. You can also help protect us in the carving until the PC guys calm down. An excellent idea. Shall we go to their castle and try to use the carving to destroy the alliance? I strongly agree. Welcome to Baron PC Guy's garden. We shall hide here until we know how we can get in the castle. Look above. It is the second PC Guy castle. It's only a model. The castle will be surrounded by knights and this garden will soon be full of barons. So we should decide how to get in quickly. Well, how the full do we actually even get in? Two layers of walls. Oh sad. Is it that large? I am afraid this castle is indeed very sizable and reinforced enough to resist explosions, impacts and winds like the ones that devastated the old castle of the PC guys so many times. Can't we climb over the walls? I could. You non-fool. I reckon I can get on the small walls, then use that to jump the larger ones. How tall are the walls? Outer walls are 16 meters, inner walls are 24 meters. The internal point of the roof is 36 meters. Okay, yes, I can easily reach 16 meters, even 24 meters. What a small castle. This is the largest castle in the history of the PC guys and should not be underestimated. I am stronger than any castle and I should not be underestimated. Excellent. Next thing, how do we get to where the PC guys are? We should aim for the PC room. It is the center of the castle and the largest room. They are likely to be there. Isn't the King PC guy tower the center, both physically and for admin? You know what I mean. What I do not know is how to access this room. What are the roofs made of? Spruce. How non dpsk and destroyable. So we are to go through the roof. I agree. Balkany will use her immense mass and the lower wall to jump up and through the roof and into the PC room. And we all jump on her first? She will grow as large and strong as possible and break into the castle. Acceptable. Are we all ready to go and do we have the carving? I agree. We should leave the supplies here too as we do not want them damaged in the confrontation. Greetings PC guys, Linux guys and Diana. I have come with an item that may change your views. Mac guy 3135, not you again. 
it is I, MacGuy3135, and I have brought some acquaintances. Some pretty pathetic acquaintances, if you ask me. Well, they are not going to help you against two empires. PC guys attack. Linux guys attack! guys are here too, and they are already united against us. This is stupid. We have number them slightly and they are still winning. Would be a good idea to get some more troops to help the prior troops do. I agree. Assistance required for this is Stop! No way! Stop this bitch! Oh man! Calm down, you small fool. Out of my way, you wrong dimensional wimp. <coughs> you next, you PC breaking sponsored son. I've always wanted to do this to you for disrespecting PCs. How dare you! Everyone stop. Mac Guy 3135, we appear to be standing next to each other again. How do you want to destroy our empire this time around? Actually, I do not want to destroy the PC Guy empire. However, the Linux guys do. What do you mean? They seem to be very willing to join up with us. I agree. We're going to form a coalition with the PC guys and move into this empire. I have physical evidence that shows that the Linux guy empire is just as hated by your empire as we are. What is this evidence? Balkany, release the carving. This is gibberish. This does not prove anything whatsoever. I agree. I disagree. How is this carving any meaning whatsoever? It is in Danish, a language found on Earth, but reversed. You fools have other languages? Yes. Now prove that this carving is in fact not complete gibberish. Mech guy 3135 do you still have that note from earlier? Indeed I have. This note shows the reverse of the carving, check it yourself if you want. That note does indeed appear to be the reverse of the carving. Go ahead. The text in English reads, The Linux guys are not your friends. They are open source. We are not. We cannot collaborate with them to our proprietary ways must blow them up. Interesting. Is there any more evidence saying that is the true text? This note shows that Google translate the reverse of the carving. The Linux guys are not your friends. They are open source. We are not. We cannot cooperate with them because of our proprietary ways and must defeat them. That does make sense. I mean they are supporting an operating system with code that can be tampered with by anyone, even maliciously. And we support an operating system which is supposed to require a license, although we modify it anyway, and never activate it. This text is written in stone. 
It was clearly very well hidden as we have yet to find it, and the carving is too intricate to be created by these fools just for the event. It must be important, since it happened to show up precisely before we were about to do a deal with the Linux guys. It must tell us something. Yes, it appeared at exactly the correct time, and is very neatly and significantly presented. Shall we tell the Linux guys that due to new evidence, we should retract our offer? I feel it would be best. Since I have recently obtained strong new evidence that you are indeed deceiving us, we have decided that we will not form the coalition that we have been drafting. We decline your deal. What did you say? We will offer no deal with you. Please go home. You fool! All this time negotiating, you're gonna throw us away over some rock? Lions guys, attack! Look like our work here is done. We should get out before we are caught in the crossfire. How do we know what happened to the Empire so we can take out the victors of the fight? I will call your phone and you leave your phone here, then we escape. How do we escape? The service lifts, go. Balkany, do you think you can get us down and over the outer walls? What now then? We shall wait in this location to hear the result. We must be ready to take out the victors. May take a while. All I can hear at the moment is a mass of Linux and PC guys. They will not take each other out now though. Their empires are far larger than what's fighting in the hall now. The PC guys will win I guess as they got reinforcements during the earlier chaos. Surely the Linux guys will call for truce before they annihilate Diana. True, as then they can really fight with no leaders. I hope they are not destroyed now and otherwise our plan to obliterate both empires have failed. Listen you fools. You win this battle, but you will lose a war. I propose in three days. Go on ahead. I accept this proposition of me, but I want to stage battle until we see God on strategy and the tutorial content. In the plane's battle passage, I want this time as it will take us weeks to get down to South Ward, and across the sea of fate of the continent. Except for the fact that we will have to fight the Empire for the last time. Except for the fact that we will have to fight the Empire for the last time. Epic. The armies will annihilate each other. We win. Don't we still have to take out the victorious empire? Oh yes, I agree. How the fool do we get there though? Southport is very far away and the equatorial continent is further than any of us have ever been before. What is Southport? And how distant is it? Southport is a new coastal PC guy settlement. The only one outside the Empire so far, and the base of the PC Guy Navy, which contains just one ship, the KPCG Mosfa. It is run by a Baron PC Guy and was created when the current PC Guy castle was under construction. It is outside even the outer fence and is almost twice the distance we traveled from the Fokker portal to the Earldom of Lisa, over 2000 kilometers. Annoyingly it is quite close to where we found the carving. It took us many days to get to the Earldom of Lisa. Surely the foolish PC guys also have to get there? How epic we can just sneak behind them. How many PC guys will move? There are many, around 600 knights alone so we can blend in very easily. And the Linux guys? They have a portal directly to the desert in the continent, it is in Diana's lair which is quickly accessible via a shaft that pierces the very core of the planet of Linux. L only Diana has the key, but she will open it for this event. It is probably why King PC Guy chose such a place, as he doesn't want the Empire trashing and it is the only other place on Maxi the Linux guys can easily access. So we must follow the PC guys. Hiding should be simplistic. As this will be a massive operation, getting hundreds of knights in supplies half the planet south is not exactly easy. You think they will walk? They have a rocket launching pad? Rockets can only carry a few people and the PC guys rely on human expertise to operate them. 
It is simply a waste of resources to use up so many rockets not to travel between planets and there are no road and rail networks that stretch that far. They all stop at the outer fence at the latest. They will likely walk at least to the Newton River. We should wait until the PC guys emerge from the outer south gatehouse with their resources, supplies and weapons. Halt, we shall return to the castle and get our supplies. We should get the servants, constables and others too. The entire empire short of the peasants and some chefs and officers to keep the prisoners in check will be needed for this battle. This is a massive operation and requires this empire to work efficiently while away from the castle. The journey is long and arduous, but victory awaits us on the equatorial continent. First and foremost, we must prepare our troops for battle. LPC guys, Baron PC guys, Knight PC guys, and Minor Knight PC guys, gather your armor and weapons. Ensure you pack the finest swords. Where do we hide? The PC guys will have carriages and such. Why not use those? How will we sustain ourselves in the days and weeks that it will take to reach the ocean? Oh blast, I did not think of that. While the PC guys are preparing to leave, we must seize the opportunity to sneak into their castle and take some of their supplies. As ours are depleted and insufficient to get 8 humans as far as Southport, we will follow the PC guys, maintaining a day's distance behind them. Given her substantial food requirements, Balktani must remain in her smaller forms. However she won't need to fight, so she can carry the slowest among us. As we approach Southport, we should increase our pace. On the night before they set sail, while the PC guys are asleep, we will sneak into the ship, the KPCG MOSFET, with the supplies we've taken which will have PC guy flags and so will avoid suspicion. The following morning, we and the supplies will be locked into the hold and the ship will set sail. We can survive in this secured, PC guy free cargo deck for the duration of the voyage, as while the upper cargo deck will be accessed during the voyage, the lower one will be kept for the battle itself. We can thus use their supplies when ours run out, and take their weapons when needed. A thoughtful plan, let's go. Let us march forth with determination and labor. The equatorial continent awaits, and victory shall be ours.
at long last, we are close to Southport, we must now make haste so we can catch the ship at nightfall. I've just had a look out and we're finally approaching the equatorial continent. At last, the voyage is at an end. What do we do now? How do we get to the battlefield? Blast, I haven't thought of that. We can't move with the PC guys. There's too many of them. We should take the best weapons and hide behind some empty barrels while the minor knights unload the hold. Then, when we know they have gone we flee and follow them. Sadly the lack of animals that I could hunt past Lisa has meant I won't have the energy to fight at full size. Don't worry, I think I'm just as strong. Either way, we will take their weapons, strengthening us and weakening them. What about the Linux guys? Their weapons are better than the ones here. Even if the Linux guys win decisively, they will still have lost enough numbers for us to vanquish. I'm pretty sure I'm bulletproof anyway. We should raid the weapon carts now, then build a wall of empty barrels and crates to hide behind. I agree. You have one day to prepare.
you wanted to collaborate, but that carving showed you will betray us. We have no choice but to vanquish your empire. You were so open to discussion, and that carving was a lie anyway. But we must battle to the end of our empires. PC guys, you know what to do. Attack. Attack, I think. 
and it seems Diana's done the same to her side. Now let us do that guy 3135. I must personally see the elimination of every one of his acquaintances. Surely that's a bit harsh? You see guy 3531. I must elaborate that the fool has almost destroyed my empire twice. If we are ever to grow, he and all his companions must be vaporized, no matter the cost. I am not having a deception like that occur on my watch again, and so I am ending this tomfoolery once and for all. Very well, your majesty. Wait, what are you doing here? How did you find us? I am afraid your pathetic little plan to weaken us has been discovered and foiled. We know your skin, as few not. That guy 3135 and your human friends. I am afraid you must be sorted right now. Not if I have anything to say about it. I arrest your weapons. PC Clown, you absolute buffoon. Not our weapons too. How are we going to get him now? We must locate his residence on Earth and destroy it. Everyone, run back to the mansion.